Recipe for 30 sweet or dessert crepes. Two and a half cups of flour, one cup or just under of sugar, three eggs, a pinch of salt, a quarter cup of butter, four and a quarter cups of milk, and flavoring, vanilla, rum. In a bowl, mix the sugar, eggs, melted butter, some water and the flavoring. Add the flour and milk in small portions, alternating until the mixture is smooth. Recipe for 30 galette or buckwheat crepes. Two and a half cups of buckwheat flour, two tablespoons of white flour, one tablespoon of salt, one egg, one tablespoon of oil, four and a quarter cups of water, one and a quarter cup of milk. In a bowl, mix the buckwheat, white flour, salt, egg, and oil. Add the water progressively and finish with the milk. Mix energetically until bubbles appear on the surface. Preparing the griddle in such a way is an important step because it ensures that the crepes will not stick to the cooking griddle. Set the temperature at 270 degrees Celsius. When the surface is hot, about 10 minutes, add a spoon of oil and wipe over the iron griddle. Let heat for 5 to 10 minutes. Repeat this eight times. A helpful hint. If the griddle plate sticks, mix egg yolk and a spoon of oil in a dish and wipe this onto the griddle at cooking temperature or 200 degrees Celsius with a paper towel. Then wipe again with paper or cloth of oil only. Spreading with the patented spreader, position the spreader on the griddle with your right hand. Pour a ladle of batter onto the griddle with your left hand. Rotate the spreader until the batter is all spread. If needed, excess batter can be spread with the wooden spreader. Spreading with the traditional wood spreader. Pour the batter to the left of the griddle and turn the spreader with short movements to form a comma type design, all the time keeping the spreader within the surface of the griddle. Spreading with the wooden and metal tube-like spreaders, pour the batter onto the center of the griddle, giving a circular and pivoting movement to the spreader. egg and a cheese galette, called galette complète. Cook the galette or buckwheat crepe on both sides. Break an egg and spread the white with a spatula keeping the yolk in the center. Sprinkle with small pieces of ham and grated cheese. 
Fold five edges into the center so that it makes a hexagon shape. Tomato and sausage galette. Prepare tomatoes a la Provençale using herbs, garlic, and onions, for example. Fold three corners of the cooked galette into the center so that it forms a triangle. And fill the center with the tomato mixture and pieces of sausage that have been pre cooked on the griddle. Mushroom and cream galette. Prepare mushrooms and cream, keeping the mixture warm. Fold four corners of the cooked galette into the center so that it makes a square shape and pour the warm cream and mushrooms into the center. Sausage galette. Cook a sausage and keep it warm. Turn the cooked galette around the sausage. This special warming griddle is to be used to keep the crepes warm while waiting to be served. Jam crepes. Fold three corners into the center of the cooked crepe so that it forms a triangle. Add jam as to your taste. Banana and chocolate crepe. Fold four corners of the cooked crepe to the center and add slices of banana and hot chocolate sauce. Caramel apple crepe. Cook slices of apple in sugar and butter and add to a cooked crepe, folded in the square fashion.